Hi, I have a quick tip about pivot point. Have you ever wanted to use another object's pivot point? Let's say I wanted to rotate this yellow cylinder around this blue box. What I would need to do is select the cylinder and go into pivot mode and then move my pivot point to the center of the blue box. And let me show you how you can do that. So I need to turn on gizmo. I need to tap my cylinder and then here I can activate pivot. And then I would probably want to move into my right camera view. And then I just need to drag the gizmo and roughly center it to the box. And I can zoom in and be more accurate and move it around. And then when I'm happy with it, I just turn off pivot. And then here we can see when I rotate, my cylinder now rotates perfectly around this blue box. And that works just fine. There is another way that you can do this and you can steal an object's pivot point. So I'm gonna undo and let's turn on pivot and center our pivot again. And now the first step for this is to select the object you wanna steal from. So we wanna steal the blue box's pivot point. Now I need to come over to this left strip here and tap pin and then tap and hold it because we need to turn on pin plus pivot. And with that active, you can just close it. So we have pin active. Now I'm gonna tap on my cylinder. And my cylinder is active. We can look in our scene menu and see that cylinder is selected. And now all I have to do is just turn off pin. And you can see we've relocated the pivot point perfectly to the same location as the box's pivot point. And we can do the same thing for the sphere. Again, we're just gonna tap on the object that we wanna steal from. We're gonna tap on pin, and then we're gonna tap on our cylinder and then we're just gonna turn pin off and we're done. Now you can see that I'm rotating around the sphere. It's really easy. I can think of so many uses for this, especially if you're rigging a character. Even in my most recent video for Megabot, I manually moved the pivot point to the center of a sphere. I could have used this and it would have saved me a lot of time. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Keep making things and I'll see you in the next video.